Angie Mike Invitational. First of $52,500. Trophy presented by Thomas J. Walsh, Jr. And these are the horses for the 12th. Number one, no doubter. Sylvia Burke of Fredericktown. Ron Burke, Waynesburg, Pennsylvania, Mickey Burke, Jr. trains. Dave Palau drives the one, no doubter. Number two, House of Fun. Milton Kahn, Larry Lefkowitz of New York, New York. Jerry Silverman trains. Richie Silverman drives the two. House of Fun. Number three, Jet Lock. I Schwartz, zooming by Stable, New Jersey. A.P. Benkoff of New York. Linda Toscano trains. Luke Ouellette on the three. Jet Lock. Number four, Scoot De Power. R.C. Bartley, R.C. Bartley Jr. of Ohio, Ron Steck trains and drives the four, scoot to power. Number five, Spy Hard, S.G. Nook, R.C. Michelin, Illinois, J.J. Ingram of Iowa, Tex Most trains, John Campbell on the five, Spy Hard. And number six, come on, Sloopy, hang on, Jay Summers of Pickerington, Ohio, B.J. Churches of Black Lick, Ohio. Mike Metters trains. Jamie Dunlap drives the six. Yes. Come on, Post Sloopy. time for the Magical Mike upstairs, Roger Houston. Moving in behind the gate, no doubter. House of Fun, Jed Log, Scoot to Power, Spy Hard. Come on, Sloopy, hang on. Magical Mike Invitational, Pacers. Here they come. Pacing no doubter, fast out on the inside. House of Fun second, Jet Log, racing third, scoot to power four. The racing fifth, by heart. Come on, Sloopy, hang on. Up on the outside, House of Fun to take the lead. No doubter second, here comes Jet Log on the move on the outside. Now third, now second, and going after the leader. House of Fun, no doubter third, racing four, scoot to power. Hope for the quarter, 26 and three. He had the turn. Jet Log on top of the field. House of Fun racing second. No doubter third. Scoot to power racing fourth. Fifth on the inside. Spy Hart. Come on, Sloopy. Hang on. Trails the field. Into the lane first time. Coming to the halfway point. The leader, Jet Log and Luke Willett. By length and three quarters. House of Fun second. Halfway home. 54 and three. Second quarter, 28. He had the turn, no doubter. Close up third. Scoot to power, fourth. Spy hard, fifth. Come on, Sloopy, hang on, six. Down the back side. Going to the three-quarter mark. Jed Log has the lead now by two and a quarter. House of Fun, racing third, no doubter. Scoot to power, fourth. Three-quarter mark. One, 22 and one. 27 and three. Backside, and Jet Log opens up by five. House of Fun second, no doubter, comes to the outside third. Down the stretch they come, Jet Log, Luke Willett, no doubter on the outside. House of Fun coming to the wire. Jet Log again, one, 50 and one. No doubter second. Linda Toscano trains, Ira Swartz, A.P. Minkoff, zooming by stable, the owners, Jet Log, now 10 of 28 on the year, electrified the crowd Sunday with a performance in 149 and comes right back to win the magical mic in 150 and one, final half 55 and three, the final quarter 28. Join us in the winter circle, the gentleman who has meant so much to Delaware, Ohio, and racing here over the years. Thomas J. Walsh, Jr., to make the presentation of the trophy. To the owners, representatives of the Zooming by stable here in the winner's circle. Receiving the trophy from Mr. Walsh. Tom, nice to have you back here in Delaware. 
Congratulations, good luck, and you got one heck of a horse there. Be proud of him. Thank you very much, and uh, thanks for the state of Ohio for uh, having him come out here. You missed us on Sunday, though. We, we were here today, though. That's okay. World record, we, we were pretty happy with the record. We had to come out to see today's race. Linda Toscano, are you feeling just as good today, aren't you? Yeah, relieved. Uh, we talked Sunday. You had no idea that he would go in 49. Is this about what you, you didn't expect to break 49 today, did you? All I really wanted to do was get him around, have him win in front of this crowd that likes him so much, and then take him home. Where's he going next? Home, get a couple weeks off, and then we'll worry about it then. Is this the fastest turnaround he's had, racing on Sunday and right back on Thursday? I've never done this to him before. He handled it well. Thank you. Luke Willett, the winning driver. 149 Sunday today, 150 and one. Now, Luke, uh, opening quarter, 26 and three, fifth of a second slower today. He went to the half, 54 and two well, Sunday. He got there in 54 and three today. Didn't go as fast down the backside. Well, no, uh, as a matter of fact, I was gonna wait and see what happens at the three quarter pole because I, I'm letting him do it on his own, you know? And, one we flashed up 122 and one. As a matter of fact, I grabbed a hold of him because I know we weren't going to go any faster than uh, than Sunday, and there's no reason to reach into him if we don't have to. I took a hold of him and let him pace comfortably. Everybody talks so much about the blackjack here in Ohio. This is, I guess, the what the cone, or is this your modification to make it look like a cone? This is a cone bike, but he probably would race with a skateboard. Okay, congrats. Well, that'd be interesting. Where would you go? Well, that's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll sit in the bike for a while. Congratulations. Thanks for coming to Delaware. So there you have it. The winner of the Magical Mike, Jet Log, Luke Willett, 150 and 1. The fastest gray on a half mile track. A lot of the logs, Dave B and Coney, tend to be kind of headstrong, kind of rank, kind of hard to get along with, but Jet Log looks like a perfect gentleman. He's very, very relaxed on the track, easy to handle, and uh, seems to be the exception to the rule. And I'll tell you what, I would say that he's definitely earned himself a spot as a stallion somewhere off his performance in the last five days. Hopefully no time in the near future, though, because it seems like he's really coming into his own here as a six-year-old.